In this video, we'd like to demonstrate the value of nanopack injection for the treatment of pancreatic adenocarcinoma. We undertook a trial for the injection of nanopack into pancreatic adenocarcinoma in a neoadjuvant approach. This is a case of 59-year-old female with excellent functional status, ECOG of zero, who had an endoscopic ultrasound and CT scans demonstrating a T4, N0, M0, stage 3 pancreatic adenocarcinoma. In the initial CT scans, you can see there is a 2.7 by 2.2 centimeter mass in the head of the pancreas. This mass had involvement of adjacent vascular structures, most notably the superior mesenteric artery, also referred to as the SMA. Additional adjacent vascular structures were also involved. The case was reviewed at our multidisciplinary tumor board. As with many pancreatic cancers, approximately 15% of all cases are eligible for resection. This case was no different, and at our multidisciplinary tumor board, it was deemed to take a neoadjuvant approach, allowing for upfront treatment with chemotherapy to shrink the lesion in an attempt for resection. R0 resection, or complete resection with negative surgical margins, is the only opportunity for cure for pancreatic adenocarcinoma. The patient was then began on a series of treatments with chemotherapy of the Fulfirinox. She received a total of four cycles. She had restaging scans that showed no improvement in the degree of vascular involvement by her pancreatic cancer. She then received stereotractic radiation therapy and again had restaging scans, which did not show significant improvement. The trial for nanopack injection was discussed with her and she was enrolled. She received a series of two nanopack injections. Nanopack is pure paclitaxel that is created to submicron format using supercritical CO2 sonication and then suspended directly for delivery to tumor. The creation of nanopack can then be directly delivered into tumor by a minimally invasive surgical approach using endoscopic ultrasound. In this artist rendition, you can see an endoscopic ultrasound scope placed into the small bowel and then directed towards the solid tumor in the head of the pancreas. Here we're showing you the video of this particular patient's case. Here you can see a pancreatic head mass that is the dark hypochoic structure that's being outlined and measured here while we do our endoscopic ultrasound examination. After careful evaluation of the mass, we're intentionally interrogating adjacent structures such as ductal structures as well as vasculature. Here you can see our evaluation of the portal confluence. Through the use of endoscopic ultrasound with careful anatomic evaluation, we get an excellent delineation of adjacent vessels and anatomic structures so as to avoid placement of nanopack into these structures and allowing us to facilitate direct placement into the tumor itself. Here you can see the tumor is accessed via a 22 gauge Boston Scientific flex needle. We're now going to deliver nanopack directly into the tumor itself. This starry sky appearance is delivery of the nanopack into the tumor, allowing for high concentrations of pure paclitaxel to be delivered to tumor itself, but at the same time this decreases the potential systemic circulation of paclitaxel. This landmark pancreatic adenocarcinoma study has moved from phase 1b to phase 2a. There have not been significant adverse effects from dose escalation. This study is a prospective cohort study conducted at four sites with high expertise in endoscopic ultrasound. These include Dr. Simon Lowe at Cedars Sinai in Los Angeles, Dr. Mohammed Othman at Baylor Medical Center in Houston, Texas, Dr. Antonio Mendoza Ladd in Texas Tech in El Paso, Texas, and Dr. Neil R. Sharma in Parkview Cancer Institute in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Our particular patient in this study had an excellent response to nanopack injection. There was a decrease in lesion size from 2.7 by 2.2 centimeters to 2.2 by 1.6 centimeters, and significantly less involvement of the SMA, as you can see here on this CT scan. The decreased involvement of the SMA was reviewed at a multidisciplinary tumor board and the patient was able to be taken for Whipple surgery. Final pathology revealed a 2.2 by 1.8 centimeter adenocarcinoma of the pancreas with high-grade dysplasia. There was negative surgical margins. 
the patient also had zero lymph node involvement. Our patient went from a T4 lesion with SMA abutment and was downstaged to a T2 lesion once taken for surgery with the Whipple procedure. Needless to say, this is a remarkable and perhaps unexpected outcome and a great mark for the study. This may be an atypical outcome. However, the combination of endoscopic ultrasound guided nanopack injection in addition to systemic chemotherapy with or without radiation therapy may provide a potential future treatment algorithm in the attempt of a neoadjuvant approach to reduce the size and vascular involvement of pancreatic adenocarcinoma, leading to downstaging and getting more patients to potential surgical cure. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma continues to have a very poor prognosis, with a 7-9% to survival at 5 years. It's important for us to pursue research avenues such as this one in order to find new options to get more patients better cure rates in the future.